one of the process of getting a lip lift. The space in between your nose and your lips. I have the ideal mustache realty space on my face just like my dad he my dad has a fabulous mustache but i'm a girl and i don't have a mustache the procedure was actually done under local anesthesia they prescribe you some anxiety medication the day before or a few days before that you take the actual procedure so that by the time you start you are calmed and not anxious at all i was a little bit out of it from the medication i will have a separate video discussing what the procedure was actually like so uh, the reason why I'm crazy swollen is from all the numbing they injected into my mouth area. Like that is why it's so swollen they said. It's just because they had to put so much in. But yeah. Overall it wasn't that bad. Starting to feel sore and a little tingly. But I'm going to rest for the rest of the day and then get some work done. But I can't really talk at all. So I'm hoping tomorrow the swelling will be down and I can tell you guys more about it. So, turns out, this isn't normal. <laughs> it's an like allergic reaction to lidocaine, like the injection that they use to numb your face. Which I had a feeling, like it makes sense, because every time I've gotten lip filler in the past, I always swell abnormally than most people, and lip filler includes lidocaine in the injections. So apparently I'm allergic to lidocaine, like to, to a degree. <laughs> so they gave me a prescription to help with this reaction. Yeah, so this isn't normal. <laughs> so if you are planning to get a lip lift, you probably won't get this crazy swollen. <laughs> I'm currently, <laughs> I'm currently in a shopper's drug mart parking lot getting my second prescription of steroids because the first round of steroids he prescribed me hasn't really done anything so he's giving me a stronger one. The first one was methyl, methyl prednisone and this one is dexamethasone. dexamethasone. Um, so he, we were emailing and he said, the doctor said, yeah, you're otherworldly swollen. Um, yeah, it's an allergic reaction. So like I said, if you are planning to get lip filler, there's a high chance this won't happen to you. It's apparently quite rare. My mom also is allergic to, um, lidocaine. I just didn't know I was. Like, I had no idea. Otherwise, I would have said use something else to numb it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's... 8 30 p.m at night day two and we're picking up the second steroid he wants me to take the steroid tonight in replacement of the original one and take pictures of how i am in the morning and send it to him hopefully i don't have to go to the hospital i mean like literally i'm fine i am 100 percent fine except for my lips being crazy swollen like i can breathe i'm not dizzy i don't feel sick like i'm not itchy i don't hurt like i literally feel fine except for the swelling so hopefully this will help and in the morning things are better <laughs> It's day two. The super strong steroid helped to reduce the crazy swelling, but it's still crazy swollen. So I have some spoons I put in the freezer 
and I put some ointment, antibiotic ointment all over my face and I'm just gently massaging in an outward motion to help drain some of the swelling that's collected in that specific area and then moving forward and doing a lymphatic drainage on my face to help flush my lymphatic system and swelling. Morning, I was feeling really nauseous and dizzy from the, the heavy duty steroids that they gave me last night. Um, it did help a lot with the swelling. I just did that spoon massage and it made a huge difference. Like it reduced so much of the tightness in my face. Like it softened up way more. So I'm gonna keep doing that in intervals throughout the day. I put the spoons in the fridge. I lubricate my face with antiseptic uh, uh, ointment as to not cause infection. And I give it a nice, very gentle massage to do the lymphatic drainage. And I'm like a huge different, like almost better than like just icing, like big difference. Yeah, so today, because I was feeling so nauseous from those steroids, which like I said, is not normal. Like this whole reaction is very rare, apparently to be allergic to injectable lidocaine, like very rare, not common at all. Like you are of course gonna swell, but not like me. This is a special <laughs> unfortunate event to the allergies. But because I was feeling so nauseous this morning, I didn't finish my breakfast, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch, and then I'm drinking liquid diet um, meal replacements because it's very hard for me to get anything in my mouth. I can hardly chew because I can't really pull on the lips. I have to make sure they're not like pulling or moving too much. Um, otherwise, I didn't really sleep at all last night. I was up from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. And then before that, I was tossing and turning a lot throughout the night, wide awake because like the steroid also causes insomnia. So it's going to be a rough five days. It's going to be actually six days I'm on it. So it's going to be rough. Uh, yeah. And I'm probably just going to like keep up with Benadryl. Like I'm so happy I took Benadryl like right post-op. Like I don't even want to know what would have happened to my face allergy reaction wise if I didn't take two Benadryls. Something just told me like take an allergy pill. Like so glad I did. So yeah, I'm gonna eat now. I've been doing a lot of the spoon, like ice cold spoon massages on my lips really gently. Like I put Vaseline all over it and oil around this area and sanitary ointments and massage. I don't massage over the scar or the incision at all. Like literally just the lip and then the cheeks to drain. You can see. <laughs> can see a lot of the swelling is sunk to the lower portion of my cheeks now a little bit here is still puffy but majority of it's like a giant bunch of fluid right there and my lips are way what is that is that food might be food anyway my lips are way softer than they were before and they're bruised bruising I got green bruising around the incision. Incision is looking nice from here to here, but then this side doesn't look like the best. Family is loud, but I'm a little bit concerned I might have a mild infection trying to happen on that side just because like it's a little bit sore and like more puffy compared to the rest. Um. But yeah, I only have one real concern about the overall like result of the procedure and that is the fact that my nostrils look different. Like it's pretty mild front on, but from the sides, you can, sorry, you can kind of see this nostril is pulling upwards. And this nostril, if I look from there, is pulling completely to the side. Mind you, I do have two stitches, like support stitches in my actual nostrils holding the lip up while it heals. So I'm not too sure if that is why my nostrils look like they're being pulled every which way. I'm hoping that's the case and that when he removes those, um, those stitches on Tuesday that my nostrils kind of go back to their original shape. Um, but it is super concerning because like this is like I want my lips lifted, not my nostrils changed, you know, but that is a potential complication with this kind of surgery. Um, so <laughs> we're going to bring that up to him on Tuesday when I go see him for my one week follow up. But I still have quite a few days. Today is Thursday. You can tell I can talk way easier now as well. Um, but yeah, so on Tuesday, we'll see about that and I'll tune back in 
tomorrow. Today is day five post-op. The swelling has come down a lot. Like, I'm starting to get my lip shape back. It's still so swollen. Like, you, from the front, you kind of would think, like, comparatively, it's not swollen anymore, but it's, like, heckin' swollen. Like, you can tell from the side profile when it's, like, protruding so much. And then my cheeks, all the swelling is settled here. Like, it's really firm and, like, filled with liquid from the swelling. And you can tell because my jaw is, like, that's where my jaw is. And then it's, like, all puffy here. Incision-wise, I think it's doing okay. This side, I just... It's not really thriving, like it's really swollen on this side of the incision and a little bit bumpy. So I'm a little concerned that like that side's not healing as nice as the rest. But yes, so you can really see like this is where my lip naturally should stop, but it's so puffy. Like not so much in this part, but it's like more so all the top portion here is really, really firm and swollen. Like, you can feel when I start pushing here, it gets really hard and firm from the swelling. You can see the bruising as well, all inside. And then my nostril is doing better. Like, it's pulling less. It's less dramatic as it was before. But again, hoping that that resolves when the stitching comes out and the swelling goes away. But yeah. Today is the last day that I'm on steroids as well, so I should start feeling a little more normal, but like, it's been a ride. It's been a ride. Hello everyone, today is day 8 post-surgery. I'm still quite swollen. Uh, you can really, like it's still firm and puffy, especially the closer you get to the center part. Like basically the whole area around the incision is where I'm still really puffy and stiff but overall the swelling has come down a lot compared to like what it was before when I had that allergic reaction um but yeah I think the amount of swelling I have now is like normal amounts of what people should have after the procedure but for me like I'm the normal level of swelling like around day eight you can kind of see the swelling when I smile too where it is like you can you can see it's like all there really swollen that's where the, that was like the worst side when it came to swelling but yeah it's hard to smile they said like i'll have trouble smiling and doing really any upper lip facial expressions for about three months while it heals but so far like seeing my original lip shape coming back <laughs> is relieving um my nostril is still pulling a little bit to the side. I'm kind of like bummed out about that, but it's not nearly as bad as it was like day one post-op. Like it's, it's settled down quite a bit, but still it's a, I think that's probably like something like the way it's going to be, unfortunately. I always have like my nostril on that side's always been weird though. Like it's always pulled a little bit to the side, but it feels like it's a little more exaggerated since this small little operation. This side of my nose isn't healing really nicely. I feel like it might have a little bit of an infection, so I feel like they might um, put me on an additional week of antibiotics just to help that recover. Because I'm really like, it's really like puffy and swollen and it's still like eking, like when I clean it, like yellow pus and residue comes out of it so it's not really the most pleasant. Two of my stitches have dissolved and fallen out and it's like two on the exact same side so my first stitch there and there fell out yesterday. Um, so hopefully if the swelling isn't too bad they'll be able to take out the stitches that remain today. I'm not too sure if like all these ones just dissolve and fall out on their own but he said when I got the procedure that he put two stitches that are non-dissolving in my nostrils to support the lip while it recovers and the nostril stitches have been the most uncomfortable I have to say like they've been really sore and tender and I think it they might have gotten a little bit infected because I honestly forgot about them <laughs> the first two days of cleaning which is hilarious I don't know how I forgot about like I just forgot to clean them so what I've been doing to help 
them recover. Like the past three days, I've been soaking my incision with the hydrogen peroxide instead of just dabbing it with um, Q-tips. I've just been putting like two cotton pads on and just letting it sit to, for my skin and incision to really absorb to help like get rid of any infection I may have because I really do feel like the sides are a little infected considering it's still really red and inflamed and like the color of like residue that comes off after I soak it. This morning it wasn't so bad though. I've been doing this soaking for almost three days now and the residue this morning was really mild compared to like yesterday so that's good. Um, really I'm just I'm just like bummed about how swollen I was because I really can't see the true result until the swelling's gone but at least like the swelling here in my face has really reduced it's still there like I still feel the weight of the fluid in my face from all that swelling from my allergic reaction like it, you can kind of see the way that my skin moves that there's a lot of fluid retention from the swelling and then like it's really hard to smile <laughs> but yeah, so any of you who might be thinking of getting this procedure, just remember the amount of swelling I had is very rare and not normal. Uh, so don't don't be like, wow, what a horrible thing you did, because it, it couldn't really be guessed that that would happen to me. And like, as, and I didn't know I was allergic to injectable lidocaine. But like I said before, it makes sense because every time I have had lip filler in the past, I always swell a lot and there is lidocaine within the lip filler in, in much smaller quantities. So to have like that amount of direct lidocaine injected, like there was a lot that was injected into that one area really swelled me up. So yeah, but you can, yeah. Anyway, I'm hoping that I'm not as infected here on this side as I think I am. And also just a note, like, Apparently one in five people get infections after a procedure, so it's also really common for small infections to happen during the first uh, 30 days of recovery. Um, so I'm hoping it's not like a bad infection and I just need maybe an additional week on antibiotics to help resolve it. I'm hoping it doesn't need draining. I just don't understand how it could have gotten infected because I was honestly pretty good about cleaning. Pretty good about cleaning. But anyway, I'm going to go in for my follow-up appointment. I'm not going to take you guys with me because I didn't really tell the surgery clinic that I'm making a YouTube video. And once again, I still won't know if I'm even going to publish it. So they took my stitches out. A little bit of bleeding from that. But overall, he said my incision line is fine. And then the puffy and soreness and like yellow gunk I still have is like the dissolving stitches eking out of my skin apparently so he said that's normal and should resolve while the rest of the stitches go away so I'm gonna head home clean this up because it's not looking the prettiest but he also said the nostril pulling on this side is from the stitches as well which I figured and that it's gonna be like that until it fully dissolves but it's pretty much gone back to normal anyway. Like it looks pretty much back to normal. It's just a little pulling still, but yeah, it still feels really tight because I am still really swollen and still healing, but a lot better than how it felt with the stitches. It's really tight. But yeah, he said the level of swelling that I have right now is like what people normally would have immediately after the surgery <laughs> like it <laughs> and this is eight days out that's insane he said he did a lip lift like on like the other day and there was like no swelling at all for the the girl and i'm like yeah <laughs> yep <laughs> so yeah okay i'm really starting to see the difference in what my lip actually should look like due to the swelling being almost gone is it quite a disappointment for me to be honest like i was saying before i am having a lot of difficulty with my scar recovery Ooh. 